Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo's moon, sun, and rising. Uh, if you guys are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. So let's get with the reading of Virgo. So let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of October. Spirit, what are the messages for Virgo's? Okay, let's get into your reading. I think this is going to be my last one more shuffle. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Virgos. Your first card is the Knight of Swords, the Hanged Man, the Knight of Coins, the King of Swords, the Four of Coins, the Four of Cups, Nine of Wands, the King of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Moon card, the Seven of uh, Wands, sorry, and the Five of Wands. Okay, what's going on with you Virgos? Seems like you guys just can't get a break. All right, your general energies for the month of October is the three of coins. So as a general energy, this is how you're going into the month of October. Uh, three of coins is an energy of uh, working together, coming together, working in a work set, uh, group setting, um, trying the best to focus and uh, come to achieve something. But this achieving will come through the means of cooperation or working with uh, more than just one person. So uh, for some of you guys, um, it could also be uh, the three of coins can also be almost like um, not forgetting to ask help when you need to ask for help. So this could be because it is a general reading, it could represent you or it could represent the people surrounding you. So what I mean by that is uh, don't be scared to ask for help when you need it. Uh, don't take on more than you can take unless you know you're working in a group setting again, like I said, where you guys can all agree to take on uh, whatever projects it is or whatever task it is to be able to achieve. But for the month of October, there will be achieving only through group settings or working in combination with other people. Okay, so let's get into your reading Virgos so you're going into the month of October with the Knight of Swords the Knight of Swords is a very aggressive type of energy it's an energy of um, almost almost forceful type of energy and the thing about it is you have the Knight of Swords and you have the hanged man okay these two cards are totally the opposite of one another um, Again, like I said, the knight is a very forceful type of energy, very aggressive, very um, almost uh, almost daring type of energy. But the hanged man is quite the opposite. The hanged man is a energy where there is a waiting period. So, so from what it seems like in the beginning of the month of October, um, there's going to be a situation or an issue that may arise um, could have to do with family or in the household um, or you know in relationships in regards to relationships but uh, this night is again like I said I feel that this is more your energy uh, you're coming off too forceful or you're being too forceful on other people and the hanged man is um, there's a need for reflection there's a need to go within yourself to get clarity or to understand things in a different perspective than what you think it may be. So what I mean by this is if you guys are dealing with an example, uh, family members or relatives that perhaps you feel, you know, can, can do for you, um, in regards to being there for you, supporting you or giving you some type of help. Um, but then they choose or it, there's been a almost feeling like the people that were there for you 
are no longer there for you and you kind of feel like you're uh, there's a, an aggression within yourself to either be very uh like cutting people out but you're not understanding the whole situation you're not seeing things clearly from a different perspective uh, you are very close to the situation whatever the situation may be um and you're judging people and passing judgment on people without really taking the time to go within yourself and to really analyze what it is or what has happened that has created or got them to the point where you're where they're at right now where they choose not to either not help you or they choose not to want to e almost listen to you uh, if there's a friend that you were dealing with where you would communicate with them relationship problems relationship issues to try to get advice and you feel like you did that or you reached out to them and they were very very cutthroat very not really interested it's not so much that they're doing it to hurt you it's more the fact that you have to step back and really see uh, your past behavior okay and, and the reason I say that is again uh, with the Knight of Swords, it's like, I feel this is your energy. You feel like you have to be on the defense or you have to protect yourself or even cut people out um, based on their actions. But the hanged man, it's like, no, there's a need for you to step back and reflect. Perhaps you're being too needy or perhaps uh, you've been relying too much on other people to give you advice without really hearing out what they're going through or having no disregard for what they're experiencing at the present time, okay? Now, you do have the Knight of Coins here. So there's a message coming through, and this message that's coming through perhaps um, took longer than expected. Uh, perhaps you've been waiting to hear from someone. Um, they're definitely reaching out the first week of October. Uh, that You could be dealing with an air sign, and an air sign would be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Uh, if this is not... Uh, in air sign, it could be a person that just takes on those attributes. Now, the king of swords is someone that is very, very uh, blunt, almost to the point of cutting. Um, they don't like or stand for any type of bullshit, okay? And you do have two fours here. You have the four of pentacles and the four of cups. So there's a missed opportunity and there's a blockage of accepting an opportunity. Now, for some of you guys, uh, perhaps for some, you had an opportunity uh, in regards to business in the business front and in regards to finances. Perhaps there was an opportunity for you to take on a job and you either were not interested in it or you put ifs and buts in this process. Uh, I don't like the schedule. I don't like the pay, whatever it may be. And what you're doing is you're blocking yourself. And the reason you're blocking yourself is because you have the nine of wands here and the nine of wands is definitely talking about um, being on the defense uh, not being able to really it's almost like it's almost Virgo like you're not really wanting to take responsibility for certain actions that have that has happened or that has played out now you do have two kinks here and none of these are earth signs. So what this is telling me is that you have a lot of people that are, that you allow into your life, meaning you allow, if you're, if you have a relationship and also you have two nights, give me one second, cause I'm picking up different messages here. Okay. So you have two nights and two kings. So this is telling me that for you Virgos, for the month of October, there's going to be a lot of attention towards you and it's not going to be in a positive type of um, type of energy. So, it, you know, nights are always messages and communication, but in a general reading, this could represent people, actual people in your life at the present um, that take on these attributes or these energies and the knight of swords is definitely again like i said a very cutthroat type of energy i feel this is you being on the defense and there's a knight of coins here uh a message coming through something connected to finances and money um so it could be again like i said this opportunity that was offered to you perhaps through a friend or through someone you know um but you just decided to slack on it or not take on that opportunity. Now you find yourself uh, juggling, whether it's bills, juggling um, finances, uh, 
almost like not finding not, not being able to find um, stability and this is not to do with you only have give me one second you only have two major arcanas major arcanas are something that are out of your control out of your reach you have no control over this situation but all the cards I see are nothing but mundane cards this is everyday type of things that you deal with on every day on constant so because there's no major events that have to do with the fact of stuckness or not being able to progress I feel that this is either you being extremely frustrated and not really wanting to put yourself out there again whether it's to get a new job whether it's to get clarity in regards to a relationship uh, or whether it's even to deal with family members I feel like you're just not up for it anymore but again you are taking on the energy of the knight of swords so again it's you being aggressive without really understanding that the reason why they're treating you or the way they're coming off as cold or standoffish has to do more of the fact that you've been relying too much on people um now again like i said you do have two kings here so you have the king of swords could be an air sign you have the king of cups could be a water sign scorpio uh, cancer pisces now the king of swords again like i said it's an energy of someone that doesn't put up with bullshit um if they see that you're in the wrong, they're not going to give you the right just because you're a friend, just because you're a sister, just because you're a friend, whatever. They're not. They're going to be very cutthroat and they're going to tell you, you know what, you're fucking up. You're slacking off. You need to step it up. Um, but the king of cups, the king of cups is a uh, someone that's very in control in their, of, of their emotions. And I feel that this is not you. These are outsized energies, outside energy, sorry. Uh, the King of Cups, again, like I said, is right next to the Nine of Wands. So I feel that this could be a person that you've been dealing with in regards to relationships or someone that you feel connected to. But I feel that they're very guarded from you or they're not wanting to really commit or really wanting to move forward because they see that, again, with the Four of Coins here, there's a blockage of opportunities Uh and it's almost like it's self-inflicted like you kind of self-sabotage yourself Virgo um with this nine of wands here so what I mean by self-sabotage is like if you're starting a new relationship you kind of get yourself in this mentality where you become almost a little bit overbearing where they just can't deal with that or you become so consumed in just that one relationship that you kind of forget the world you forget you're working you forget you know what I mean like it's an energy these are really heavy energies that I'm picking up so I don't know if for some of you Virgos you guys are going through some type of depression or some type of um, anxiety or, or or stress anything to do with you know with the physical meaning the physical your physical health that you're having issues with but it has a lot to do with the fact that you're not emotionally stable um at the present and it's like you keep or tending to look at life in a very negative aspect or in a negative way um and this is again like i said it's almost like you're not taking responsibility for your own actions and you reflect or mirror onto other people the frustration that you feel within yourself okay so i feel that for the month of october it's very important for you guys to get clarity to you know the hanged man also encourages you to do meditation to try the best you can to go within yourself to be able to get clarity or to see things in a different way now you do have the page of wands here and the page of wands again communication with the fire sign fire sign could be an aries a sagittarius or a leo but right next to the message that's coming through the moon is here so the message that's coming through is very unclear uh, there is hidden agenda behind it. So if you guys are dealing with this water sign uh, with this king of cups here and there's communication, perhaps uh, the nine of wands was you guys had some type of fallout or some type of disagreement or misunderstanding. Um, they're finally going to reach out to you, but they're not going to be very clear with what the intentions are or what intentions they have towards you. They're not going to be, I guess, as obliging as they usually would be because the seven 
of wands is here and the seven of wands is like they're standing their ground they're not going to tell you you know how they see this relationship or where it's going because they're trying to figure out if you can actually uh if you can actually uh do what you say you're gonna do so again now the moon can also represent uh, a message from this water sign that's coming through again like i said the moon if you guys are having uh some of you virgos are dealing with the water sign that you only tend to see um at night as an example uh you know a, a kind of um promiscuous type of energy um be be very mindful of this because i feel that for some of you guys you may be dealing with the person that's actually involved um so try the best you can to really analyze if they only message you during the night if they only want to see you at night chances are this person is probably attached um and they just want to connect with you purely on a sexual level, okay? Because you have the page and you have the moon here. And the page of wants is definitely uh, communication, but it can also speak about uh, rendezvous at night, obviously, because the moon is being reflected here. And the seven of wands, it's like you're starting to question this or you're starting to feel a little bit like what's really going on but I get again like I said I feel that they're not being straightforward they're not being honest with you or truthful with you and I feel that by the end of the month of October there's definitely going to be some clarity coming out now you do have the seven here and the five of wands so again uh being reserved or not being extremely uh kind of protecting yourself but I feel that this is the other person that you're dealing with that's protecting themselves they're not being completely honest with you and the five of uh wants here there's definitely going to be conflict and misunderstandings or arguments based on the notion of what this uh what this water sign uh, may be hiding from you that comes out to light okay now i know this is not going to resonate with everyone because this is very di direct message uh but let me get some clarity for some of the cards Give me clarity in reference to the hanged man. Why is the hanged man here? Okay. Oh, okay. Give me some clarity in regards to the moon. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Give me clarity in regards to the moon. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Whoop. Yeah. Okay. Give me clarity. Regards, my clarity in regards to the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? Spirit guides, why is the seven? Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> so I wanted to get clarity in regards to this hanged man. Why is the hanged man here? And the justice card came out. So again, like I said, I feel that you guys are taking on the energies of the Knight of Sword, being a little bit spiteful, um, being or feeling a little animosity towards people that perhaps don't want to be around you anymore or don't want to give you advice or don't want to hear you out. Uh, the Justice card speaks about there's been an unjust situation here. And I feel that it's almost, I, I don't want to call Virgo selfish because I know they're not selfish people. Um, but I feel that you've been so consumed per perhaps in this relationship that when you go to friends, when you go to family members to try to get feedback, you kind of forget that they have a life as well. Um, and it's you not being fair. The hanged man speaks about getting clarity or seeing things in a different perspective. The justice card here, there's been an unjust situation. You're not being fair. So that's the reason why you're, tr you're being treated the way you've been or you're going to be treated the first week of October, uh, where people are just not wanting to give you time. They're not wanting to give you advice. They're not wanting to basically be good friends. Um, but it's not so much because they're mean or they're being ungrateful. It's more to do with the fact that 
you've kind of been a little bit selfish. Now, this is a general reading. It could be could go vice versa. It could go both ways. It could be you the one that feels you've been treated very unjustly um, and based on the fact that they only come to you for advice. So again, uh, it could be vice versa. It is a general reading. Now, I did request clarity for this moon card here. And you have the page of cups. So you have the page of wands, which is um, a fire element, obviously to do with that of the sexual. You have the moon card, the meeting or the seeing of people or coming together late at night, and the page of cups. The page of cups is a very immature type of energy, and it's an energy where they are very promiscuous. So that's the reason why you're going to be having conflicts by the end of the month of October due to this person that you're dealing with. Again, like I said, it could be a water sign and it could be the air sign that you're leaving behind. But just know that this water sign is definitely double dealing uh, because there is the three of pentacles here. I did request clarity for this seven, the feeling of um, like they're not being honest, you're being guarded or they're being guarded. And it has to do with the fact of the three of coins. Three of coins is in the material manifestation, meaning there is a third party in their life. So again, um, you guys be very careful of the people you guys deal with, you know, um, to each his own. But if you're being on that, on that promiscuous side, try the best you can to take care of yourself and be safe, you guys. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other in the beginning of the month. Or actually, the middle of the month, sorry. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, we'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.